Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to do another jelly plate session today. I didn't quite get my fix yesterday. So, but this time I'm going to use my stencils and some of the things that I, I learned from uh, Barbara Gray over at Clarity Stamps. And I hope I can do the memory justice because she is fabulous. I don't see a lot of people doing their jelly plates with stencils. I see them do it a lot with textures and like yes, or yesterday when I did the other video on uh, my jelly plate, I did it with my die cuts. Well, this time I'm going to do stencils and um, book pages. Um, see how that turns out. And I kind of got a thought in my head on how I want to do this. So I'm going to just go ahead and just start. Okay, I've got my jelly plate clean from yesterday. Put a little bit of, ooh, a little bit of a lot, a little bit of pink on there. I'm going to do some, this one's called Amethyst. And I'll throw a little bit of champagne in there. I think that's such a pretty color. All righty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this all out. Oh, maybe too much purple. Okay, we're going to use that again. And the first stencil I wanted to use was this heart stencil. So I'm going to just lay that down nice and good. I'm going to grab me a page and I'm going to just lay it down on top and see how that comes out. Now what this will do with the stencils is it picks up all of the openings so you want to make sure you press where the openings are so you can get good contact. Now I'm using a Bible, a sheet of Bible paper so it's a little bit thinner almost like onion skin thin and I want to make sure those hearts show up. Okay, and then on the outside so let's pull this up. Well, not too bad. I like the colors but, you know, so now we're going to take another piece and do a ghost image. Because I think it didn't show up as well because there was too much paint on it and it just kind of smeared everywhere. So let's try a ghost image. Uh, that one didn't show up that well, but we'll pull this up. See, isn't that pretty? And I'm going to flip this down. Not one on a clean one. All that paint I'm going to put on another piece of paper, and I'm going to lay that flat. And then on this paper, I'm going to go ahead and lift what's left. Okay, so then we'll pull up. Well, that kind of rips the paper. So we don't want to do that paper was too thin and I let the paint dry. Alright, let me pull this one up too then before it dries. Well, that did not quite come out the way I wanted it to. Let me pause this and I'll be right back. So, Okay, I'm back. Well, no fear. It came clean. Now the papers, that would be good for 
you know, decoupaging book pages and stuff like that. But I'll just set that aside since that was an epic fail. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to clean off my jelly plate. Set this one aside. Okay, so actually, I'm going to try. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm going to try this one more time, but I'm going to try it with shimmer sprays uh, from Tattered Angels. I hope this stays and it doesn't leak slide underneath. So that one doesn't look like it's going to. That's all right. We'll see what we see. And the first one I'm going to use, I'm not sure what color this is, but that's what it looks like. So we'll see. And I'm going to use, I might have, should have probably used the lighter one first. So I'm going to use a pink. Let's see how that goes. Okay, I have no idea how this is going to work. So, let's just put that down there. And since it's a Bible page, we'll pull it right back up again. Well, that's pretty. I'll bet it'll be really pretty when it dries all the shimmer. Okay, let's try another page. This one I don't think we're going to get a good ghost print off of. No, but it gave us a little bit of color. And we'll try a regular piece of paper. See how that wipes that up. <clears throat> eh, a little bit. We can keep working on that one. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off my stencil. I've got a baby wipe. And then I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. Yep, looks clean. So I'm going to set this one aside and we're going to try another stencil. Um, let's try this one. I really like this one. This one I think came from Dilusions. Actually, let's try... Let's see, that is a brown. I really don't want to do brown today. Let's try a really pretty green. See. You see that color? Come on, focus. Anyway. So we're going to try the green first. We should probably put a drop cloth down under this or my dad is going to be really mad when his carpet comes up 12 different colors. Uh, let me put this down here. All right. And then we're going to take the same piece of paper, lay it down on top of the stencil, and pick up that print. See how that looks. Oh, well, that's not too bad. It's got some good texturing. Okay, then we're going to lift this, and of course, 
clean it off immediately. <clears throat> okay, it looks pretty good to me. We're going to grab this other one that we have already started. And we're going to see if we can pick up what's left. I've never used glimmer sprays on my jelly plate, so I don't know how it'll turn out. I hope it doesn't ruin them. Or ruin it. Well, I'll tell you what, they don't work quite as well as the paints, do they? So we may just have to go back to the paints with the stencils. So let's, excuse my arm being in your way. We will put these away. And we will go back to paint. Although that's pretty. With the green and the... So let's put another piece underneath. Actually, I want a whole piece. Okay. We're going to do that right there. We're going to lay that right there. And these will sit over here to dry. Okay, let's try let's try a circle one. Oh my goodness. Can't find the end of this. Where'd it go? There it is. And no, I have not done my nails yet. I'll probably do them later on this afternoon. Is this I mean they're my fingernails. They're just the the finger the nail polish is wearing off and hot glue does not help, trust me. Ugh. All right, so what color do we want first? Let's do just champagne first. Okay. No, let's try a light blue. Okay, and we'll throw a little bit of dark blue in there. Just some of this ice blue, which I think is so pretty. Oops, okay. Now let's see what we can get. Oh, you know what? I added purple to that. Ha oh, ha, cool. All right. Okay, so we'll drop the circles right there. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Let's, where's the other one since it's already out? Uh, the heart's right there. All right, now let's get a piece of paper and see what we come up with. Oh, that's pretty cool. You see that? That is pretty cool. So let's see if we can get some more up right here. Yeah, we did. Maybe some more right here. A little bit. Maybe some more right here. Right in 
here. Okay. Now we're going to set this one aside. We're going to pull these stencils and we're going to take another piece of paper and lay it out and get as much of this ink off as we can. So this way, whoops, I'm going to try rolling the brayer. I didn't use the Bible paper this time, that way it wouldn't stick. Let's see. See what we get with the leftover paint on the stencils. Ah. Uh. All this paper I'm using came from my old director's manual when um, a couple of years ago I was directing a Bible college, a satellite Bible college at our church called FBI. Well, oh, that is pretty. Check that out. Okay. <clears throat> well, the interest faded for a while, so we decided to stop the college. Because um, it was a three-year course, two semesters per year, which right now we're actually, since it started back up again, we're actually in the middle of the fifth semester. There's six semesters in all. Um, and again, I'm the director. But I still had all of my material from, you know, the last time that we were doing this. But they sent me a whole new book with all new materials, things that were updated, stuff like that. So then I had all of this paper from my director's manual left over. And I didn't know what to do with it at first. And then when I started cleaning out the old director's uh, notebook, I was like, oh, I can't throw this away. I can use this for this. Oh, I can't throw this away. I can use this for this. And then I thought, okay, I'm not going to throw any of it away because I can use it all. Now, that <laughs> is a crafter. I just, I don't like waste. I don't, I don't like paying for things if I don't have to, you know. And instead of going out and buying all kinds of special papers and things like that, why, when you're going to cover them up anyway, might as well just set that down there. Now, you notice I'm letting this dry, okay? But instead of, you know, buying all these extra things, I'll just use what I have, which I think is a better idea anyway. Uh, so that's what all of this is. You see DVD checkouts because we do the college by remote satellite. So at the beginning of each semester... I get boxes of DVDs um, of each of the classes for the semester. And, uh, oh, that one's getting. Anyway, uh, so you'll see all these extra DVD checkouts and things like that. So when people can't show up, they have to make up the work and take the DVD home with them. It's an accredited college. Um, you actually get your diploma if you test. If you only want to audit, then you get a certificate of completion. Um, there are some people who like the fellowship so much that they'll take it over and over and over again. They'll test out one time to get their diploma, and then they'll just audit the rest of the time. Just so, you know, like they'll audit or they'll test the first three years. And they like the fellowship and, and the fun because we potluck every week. And uh, they just, they enjoy the being together and everything. And they sign up again for the next year. 
and again and again and again. Our last director did it for, uh, I think he said it was not 12 or 9 years. And I did it for, I think, 3 years before we stopped. And this is our first semester back since um, we started again. So, uh, and this time, like, let's see, at the end of the last time when we started, we could barely manage 10 students because everybody had gone through it and some of them just decided to get busy with life, you know, which is fine. You can't expect to go to college and get your diploma over five or six times. But at the same time, um, we missed the camaraderie. We missed the fun. We missed everything else. And I'll tell you what, I learned more about the Bible in those three years than I have my entire life. And I got saved when I was nine. It was just, it's a truly amazing class. It's based out of Monroe, Louisiana. It's called Faith Bible Institute. Um, if your church is interested, it's run by a brother, John Yates who taught under uh, Wilmington, but it's a great, let's see if these are, nope, it's still a little dry, or wet, rather. Uh, anyways, but it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the biggest thing we missed was, like I said, the fellowship, the getting together, the talking, the hanging out with everybody, finding out about their, you know, how their lives are going. And, oh, I'm going to be in big trouble if I can't find a box of Kleenex. There we go. Uh, pardon me for just a second. Remember me telling you this weather has got everybody's sinuses going hog wild. Mm. All righty. I'm still a little wet. Oh, pardon me. Oh, you know what I found out? I was watching uh, Cinnamon Cooney on the Art Sherpa. Uh, she's fabulous. you got to watch her if you love watching our acry acrylic painting. But she said when you, when you heat up acrylic paints, it changes the composition of um, what it does. So you have to be very, very careful when you use a heat gun on it. So when she wants to dry her canvases so she can get on to the next step when she's teaching a class, she'll use her hair dryer on low and just for a bare few seconds. So it doesn't change, you know, the composition or the colors that she's had set for, you know, the painting. But her and her husband, John, are pretty fabulous, I think. Let me set these over here. Okay. Let's get a couple of these. Now, I wonder what color would go good behind this. Let's see, we've got the blue, we've got the purple, we've got the light blue. So what color? Oh, what about silver? I think silver would work. I have no idea. I'm guessing. So we'll just guess along, right along with you. Up some more paint blobbies. 
Some people call them paint boogers. Some people call them globbies. I just call them globbies. See, these are my baby wipes from the last time. They look kind of dull and gray and dingy, but when I use them, I'll get them wet again and use them again and clean up some pinks and some yellows. And then that that's perfect texture. So let's do this. Let's try the silver. See how that works. All right, we ready? Now I'm hoping the silver will reactivate. paint underneath. Okay. And here we go. Let's see. See if it'll pick up all that beautiful purple and blues with the silver in the background filling up the holes that we took the paint off of with our first our first print Let's leave it for just a second nice even pressure Don't forget to kind of run your fingers around the edges because sometimes those get forgot. All right, now let's try our pull. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that's not that bad, is it? It's got some of the purple in it. Can't really see the silver behind it right now. It just kind of looks like white. So maybe we'll try a different color. But that looks pretty cool in my opinion. So let's see. I doubt we can, but let's see if we can get a ghost print. Or at least clean up any paint that's left on the bright or on the jelly plate. <clears throat> nope, we pretty much got it all last time. See? Okay, so we worked with the circles in the hearts. Um, I really want to work with this one, so let's try, we haven't done any pink really, so let's try some pink, and, oh, well, I don't want another pink, let's try uh, Peacock Pearl, oh, come on. Maybe uh, a parrot blue. No, let's do a purple. I miss doing purple. Alrighty, now let's spread these colors out. And we're going to lay the stencil right on top. And let's see. We can go right off the page. See, this way I can cover up any of the writing that's on here with the paper. And use it for painting papers later on. Okay, and we need a sheet of paper to go on top of this. Boom. So let's see how this one turns out. Oops. Oh, and I wanted to let you guys know that Tell your friends, your other crafty peoples, 
that if they watch my video of the 300 subbies getting the giveaway, uh, I'm almost there. I'm at 296. As soon as I hit 300, I'm going to be do a great big giveaway, and there's going to be two prizes, not just one. And the requirements are that you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You have to leave a comment and share my video. If you do all of those, <clears throat> you'll get entered um, one, two, three times. Now, if you share it like to Pinterest and LinkedIn and Google Plus and Instagram, Snapshot, all of those, leave me the link where you shared it so I can count that. And each of those will be separate entries, increasing your chances of winning. But yeah, once I hit 300, and then once I hit the 500 mark, I'm going to do another one. And then, ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. You see that? Okay, focus. Woo. All right. So we're going to peel this off. Ooh, look how pretty. And I will get one of my other sheets that didn't didn't print very well, and I'll just add some of this to it. Some of that came off. Oh, now that looks pretty cool. It's getting there. And then I will wet my baby wipe. Excuse me. And this is the one I said I'd put the pinks on. Right, and I will just wipe it off. Most people don't wipe off their stencils right away. If you're one of those that just doesn't have time, keep a bucket or um, like a dish pan full of soapy water next to you. So that way, if you don't have time to get up and wash your, your stencils, just slip it in there. And that way, when you're done at the end of the night, you can just they're really easy to clean up. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see, that's pretty good. So I'm going to set this down. And we're going to let this one dry. Okay, so now this one's got a little bit more purple in it. So we'll set this one over here. And this one we need to set upside down. All righty. So we're going to let that one dry, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and this is pretty dry. I'm going to show you the outline on it. Let's see if you can see that from the last um, stencil we put on it. That's still left there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the antique white. Uh, if I can find the opening. There we go. And I'm going to cover this up. Uh, it might have been a little bit too much paint, so let's take some of it off. Take some of it off. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Now let's make it even. Oops, I even got it off the side. I'm going to throw a butterfly in here just for giggles. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper and pull the print. Just one piece. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let's 
let's pull the print. Oh, that looks nice. Can you see that? You can even see where the butterfly was left out. Whoops. That is pretty. I like that. So we'll set that over here to dry. And let's pull up the butterfly. Let's see what happened to her. Well, that's pretty. Come on, focus. I set it back a little bit of focus. Well, it's not going to. There it goes. Look how pretty that is. And we'll go ahead and wipe this off. Because I did put too much paint on the one side and it oozed out. And get another baby wipe. <coughs> Now, there are recipes out there where you can make your own baby wipes. It's out of, let's see, glycerin, uh, where you can get at the heart, or at the pharmacy part of Walmart or Target or whatever. Um, water and um, a little bit of baby shampoo. And you can take a paper towel, cut it in half, and... Uh, set it in like an old coffee can right and then mix up the glycerin the water all of that and pour it on top but make sure you pull the, the round thing out of the middle the cardboard tube so then you can reach in and just start pulling out your things from the center and uh, you've got your own baby wipes and you put the lid on the coffee can, cut a little slit in it so that you can just pull them out. It's fairly, fairly easy. And I don't know if it's cheaper than just going and buying the baby wipes because I buy the big bags. This is what I buy. The Parents' Choice from Walmart, 240 wipes. This thing has lasted me for, oh gosh, quite a while. I mean, at least six months, six months, seven months, something like that. So to me, that is worth the money. That was like $5.76. And I didn't have to go through all the hassle of making my own. But if you like the idea of making your own, then there are recipes out there on YouTube that will sh show you how to do that. Now, if you go through baby wipes, you know, having a child then obviously that would be one way to save a lot of money is to make your own. Alrighty, now let's see. Actually, I'm going to pull up one of my bigger stencils. I keep all my stencils in a notebook like this. That way I can keep them all in one place. And they're not all organized or, you know, anything like that. But... I've got my ABCs and my circles. There's the chevrons, some mini ones. I like the using the mini ones for the texture paste and stuff. And here's a bigger chevron. There we go. Let's try a Tim Holtz die. And let's try these flowers. I'll look really quickly to see if there's anything else I'd like to kind of throw in there. Oh, that one's my own stencil I made with a glue gun. Um, there's the swirls. I don't want to play with the swirls right now. There's the honeycomb and the Gabriel Polacco one. And the stars. Well, actually... I might I might
might do this one. See that one right there? I have kind of an idea and I want to see if it'll work. So let me get the ones I already pulled. If I forget where I put them, there they are. Okay. I'm going to use this one. Set that down. All right. Now, what I think I'm going to do first, I want to try the stencil one from Tim Holtz. Okay. So, what colors are we going to use? Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Let's try the worn penny. Try a little bit of the Blue Lagoon. Mm. Oh, that was too much. Ah, uh, and a little bit of green. Oh, yeah. We're probably going to do this one a couple times, so let me get some paper that. Alrighty. Well, we'll see what we see. Alright, here goes. Yeah, way too much blue. So we're going to put the stencil down first. Okay. Set this right here. Let's get some paper. Let's do it this way. This is our first print. Let's see how this one goes. That was an awful lot of paint, so it may come out blurry. And it did, so let's grab another one. This one's kind of wet, but that's okay. There we go. See, having too much paint can be just as bad as having not a not enough paint. Your images come out really blurry. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's still usable, obviously. Okay, that's a little better. Didn't get much right there. Pull that up. Let's see, try this down here. Mm, this part right here. Just trying to get all the excess paint out from around the gears. So that way it doesn't muddy up what I'm trying to do the next time around. And up at the top. Okay. Well, I think that's about as good as we're going to get. Maybe. Right there on that line. Okay. So we're going to set this one aside. And we're going to pull this one off very gently. And we are going to add it to another sheet of paper. There it goes. Just to use up that excess paint that obviously I squirted too much of. 
see if it's ah uh, not too bad. Throw this one over here. Okay. Now let's wipe off the paint on the stencils. I didn't get my bucket of soapy water ready before I started this. Um, actually, it's kind of holding a bunch of stuff in it that I was using last night. So I was too lazy to empty it out and fill it with water and soap. Well, sometimes my dad gives me one of those looks that, what are you doing? And I have to come up with a phrase. I really do. Maybe you guys can help me. You know, when he says, what are you doing when I'm doing something really weird for crafting? You guys got to help me come up. It's a craft emergency. Or something along those lines. You know, it is essential to the survival of mankind. Well, that would work for me. He, he always tells me he hates peas, okay? He grew up on them, and that's what they grew, and that's what they ate, and they ate, and they ate, and they ate, and they ate peas. So he hates peas, okay? If you ask him if he wants peas or ask him, if, ask him what his opinion of peas are, and he will tell you he believes that it is an alien conspiracy to take over Earth. That's what peas are. So that is how vehemently he is opposed to eating peas. It's an alien conspiracy to take over Earth. Me, I like peas. He doesn't. So we don't buy peas. <laughs> Okay, that's good enough. Now, on this, there was a line that was left right here. And I kind of don't want that line in the other image. So, I'm going to try and see if I can't pull that line off. It may be too dry. And I may have to uh, use a baby wipe. But I really don't want that line there. See, some of it came off. Ooh, look at that dendritic patterning. Melissa from 70 Acre Studios. You've got to see that. Isn't that cool? I did it. It looks like a vine. I didn't even do it on purpose. Okay, so let's try this side to get up some more. We've got a little bit. Oh, I really, I have to cut that piece out just to save it and I can show Melissa. Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> I know, pretty weird, aren't I? But she's been working on this pattern, or this pattern called dendritic uh, type painting for a while. And... I just, I love that. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Focus. No. Let's see if that works. There we go. I guess I got to center it. So I have to save that piece for Melissa. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up what's over here. Because I, oh, because I really didn't want... There's some dendritic there I'm going to leave. <sighs> I guess I should just cut this in half now. I wonder what would be a really good color to put on behind it. My best bet has always been the white, so I guess I gotta stick there, huh? I gotta stick it that way. Mm. 
no, still, uh, excuse me, still, still a little wet. Boy, I've got a mess in this living room I gotta clean up. But Dad traded me my small craft table for the big craft table so he could use his, uh, he could do his jigsaw puzzles on. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna say that's good enough. And this is the one I wanted to use on top of it. So. We're going to use some antique, uh, some antique white. I wish they had like a gunmetal gray metallic. That I think would be cool. I mean, I'm sure they do, but I haven't seen any. Oh, shoot. Let's put you over there. And I forgot to roll you out. So. I was going to do this again. But that's okay. I talk too much. That was the one thing. Even though I was really shy around, like in school. I was so shy. You couldn't hardly say anything to me without me just going bananas. Around family, they would say, why do you never shut up? And I'd always tell them, it's because I don't talk at school. I got to get it out somehow. One day, Probably when my channel gets built up a little bit more, I will uh, I will try a live stream. Right now, I'm kind of too chicken for that. See, it says DVD checkout. <laughs> and I have a whole bunch of those, so... They just kept sending them and sending them, and I didn't want to throw them away. And I'm kind of glad I didn't, because now I've got all kinds of paper to use on my jelly plates. And I can use them as drop plates, and or drop sheets rather, not drop plates. That would kind of suck. Ah. Alrighty, and we're going to lift this up. Now, we didn't get much out of that one. I don't know if you can really see it. And I really don't know if this is going to work, but I'm trying. I would like to see it work. And then we pull this. Nope. Let's lay this back down and put some more paper on it to bring some of that back up. Because it won't make a difference if it's all smeared. There we go when we do the final print. Oh, I was telling them about your theory on the on peas about it being an alien conspiracy to take over Earth. Yes. I was telling them that. You got to come closer if you want to talk to. Oh, I have no idea. I didn't either. Well, pop the plug back. There. Did you pop it hard enough so it won't do it again? Well, what good are you? Okay. Now, on this one, let's grab one from earlier. We'll try this one. And we'll just lay this one on top and see if it'll move my scissors. It seems every day I craft, I need a bigger and bigger table. But don't tell Dad that, because he gets frustrated with me enough. What? You didn't hear that. What? Nothing. So let's see how that looks. 
Uh, it'll do. Uh, let's see. And then I'll get a baby wipe and wipe this off and let that one dry. Trying to see how many stencil design images we can get from one print. So after this one dries, I'll add the chevron and we'll see how that comes out. We may come out with some Frankenstein looking thing, but then we might come out with something looking pretty cool. So I'm going to let this dry and I will be right back. I wasn't into goth. Was I into goth? Yep, I used to be a goth in emo. I can't help it. I loved the black leather. I had the I had the jacket. I had the boots. I had I had the jeans. I had the makeup. I even had the Pat Benatar hair. That was cool. But that was also in the eighties when it was cool. So, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is dry. So actually, I'm going to put some purple on it. The amethyst. And then we'll pull we'll pull print and see what we got. piece of paper, set it down, and let's hope. I don't know if the gears will show up. They might have disappeared under one of the other layers, but if they do, that would be really cool. See what we get when we pull it up. Well, the colors came through, but you can't see the gears. That's kind of pretty. See that? Can you see the purple and the white? Okay, we'll set that aside to dry. We'll wet one of my baby wipes. And we'll clean this off. Which most of it came off with the paper, but just in case. Alrighty, now I want. Let's try this one. See how that one turns out. And we'll do some yellow, some orange, maybe some red. Ew. Another pink blobby. Shut that up there for a minute. Make sure nothing falls out. little bit. We'll get some orange. This one's called jack-o'-lantern. So it's kind of a bright orange. Oh, another pink lobby. Oh, that one didn't come up easy. There we go. Some people keep their paint blobbies for texture in their mixed medias. I've got a little cup going with mine, but I haven't quite decided if I really want to use them or not. But they're there just in case. Just a little bit and then maybe 
little bit of pink. We'll try pink. Okay. Now let's see how this looks. dead on top. Grab a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Let's do it this way. Lay it down. Now what the stencil is on top of the paint, so that keeps the paint in place which means when we pull the stencil up, the paint will be there and we should get a good ghost print off of it. Oh, now that came out pretty. Should have done it on the other side, but it still came out pretty. Let's try it on the other side. Oh, that one slipped. That came out really nice. If you can see that. Okay, so we'll set these two aside. Dry. And we'll pick that up. Look how much paint is on that. That is pretty. And we'll lay it down on another one. And we'll wipe it off. See if we can get the paint to press up onto this. Let's see. Ah, a little bit. We can work with that. Lay this on top and just wipe off my paint stencil for a minute. I'll switch it to a different part of the baby wipe so the colors get distributed. We got kind of a double wipe off with the. All right, so let's see. We want to wait for this to dry. Now, let's see if we can pull anything off. a little bit. That's not too bad. But I'm going to put some more on top. And let's see what part of this still needs covering. So we'll cover that. Alright, and I'm going to put one of these stencils from uh, Jane Davenport down. <clears throat> and get another piece. 
piece of paper and lay it down. See how this one came out. Well, not too bad. Had a little bit of a, an outline to it, which is kind of cool. And we'll pull this up and clean off this stencil. I think this is one of those double stencils. This one's kind of hard to wash, so I'm going to pause you for a minute so I can go wash this. Okay, I'm back. And this is still a little damp, so... I'm going to put some white on this, and then... might be cooking with gas. Oops, too much. Oozed off the sides. Like always. Well, you can always pull some more off. It's too much paint. Right here, it lobbied off the side. So now the baby wipe isn't looking so yucky now. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm going to lay it down and see what it'll pick up. Now, the last video I showed you die cuts and a little bit of textures. This video I'm showing you stencils and, uh, you know, layering. Let me see how that looks. Ooh, now that looks really pretty. Very faint, but very nice very nice. Okay, so I'm going to put my stencils away, um, which just means I'm going to set them aside for now because, you know, that's just how it is. I'm going to take the baby wipe and I'm going to clean off my stencil, or my jelly plate. that up because it used underneath. Okay, and I'm going to get a different sheet of paper to lay this on. Okay. And I'm flipping my jelly plate over just to kind of give it even use on both sides. Alright, we'll put that there. Now, my next thing that I want to show you is how you can use all of your recyclables. Okay, put that stencil over there. 
And I'm going to move all this paper that I've been using out of the way. Because I'm not going to use it anymore. At least not today. But I have a whole box of mail stuff. Packaging. Um, little things from, you know, cabs that come off of whatever. Little cards that show up in the mail that want you to buy stuff. Um, here's a packing thing. I forget from what. And this one came from a Spellbinders embossing folder. Um, some scrap paper. Just Actually, we're not even going to do paper. We've been doing paper. I wanted to show you other stuff. Let's see. This one is from the side of one of the teas that I like to drink. And then we've got little pieces, you know, like the little ends you cut off when you're trying to measure uh, for ATCs or postcards or something like that. Now I'm going to keep these on the side, along with some clothing tags, okay? Uh, let's see. i get some of the little things, too. Okay. Oh, that's where that went. Oh, good. Okay. I've got an old game card. That's a piece of scrapbook paper. Trinkets, you know, just pieces of uh, priority mailboxes. Little strips. Little pieces cut out. When I got a tag that I started for Christmas and I never finished it. Oh yeah, I did. I finished it. There's the inside. So that got put in the wrong spot and then here's another ornament thing. So I want to show you I'm not going to pull out my paper cutter as you guys can figure that out. Alright, pull the staples out of this. Now for something like this, if you want, if you don't have to paint both sides because this one's already plain. You can do whatever you want to it. And if you're not going to cover it with paper or fabric or anything else like that, then, you know, these are great to use for jelly, jelly printing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt a bunch of colors on here. Do a little bit of red. A little bit of Peridot. Uh, let's do a little bit of Peacock Pearl. Um, let's try some purple. And let's go with some copper. Oops. Okay. There. And we're going to roll this out. And yes, there's a lot of paint on this. And the reason being is I'm trying to learn the technique that Melissa over at 70 Acres Studio has been showing us. So I'm just going to lay this here. And I'm going to put a tag here. And I don't see anything small, so I will just finish up this right here. There. Okay, now what she showed, and I hope I get it right, is she just pull it up. And then you get all that. To me, it looks like coral, you know. Uh, you can't really see it. No. All right. Well, we'll let that dry. We'll pull up the tag. Now you can see a little bit on that one. You see at the top right here where it looks like, let's see, how close can I get it? No, it's not coming in. Okay. And this. Well, 
well that just took it right on off. So let's lay it across this one. And see we got some really pretty papers. Really pretty um, scraps. Uh, let's do this one. Use the same. And with your scraps, since there isn't anything in particular right off the bat that you want to use them with, you can just keep coloring them and layering them and coloring them and layering them and stenciling over them. And let's do some white. These are just scraps I haven't wanted to throw away. And what they end up becoming is you can poke a hole in the top, they can become tags. They can become ephemera that you can stick in a pocket that you add, it, add to a journal. See, that one's not completely finished. Let me see. It's not completely covered, but I can move it over if I need to and try and add some color over here. See, added a little bit. And this one, that one didn't pick up very much. Oops. This one picked up a little bit more. It's really cool. That one picks some up. And that one picks some up. So these two are going to take the longest to dry. So I'm going to leave these over here for now. I'm going to put some more paint on because I still have some on my roller. Oops. Okay. And on that note, I'm just about sure that this paper is covered. No more words. All right. So we'll leave that there. Now we're going to take the ones we just did and lay them back down. Hanging off the side, putting them anywhere we want. Because what you're doing is you're layering color. You're not covering you're just layering. Mm. Let me get another one and we'll just put that one right there. And then we'll just put something on top of it just to kind of press it in. Get little dots off of it and let's pull it off. See that one only got a little bit. That one got a, is a missing a spot. See that one got a little bit more. That one got a little bit more. Oh, I hate that you can't see that. a bit more and that one got quite a bit more so we're going to let those dry but look at the cool pattern on the jelly plate that's left can you see that so I'm going to let that dry let me get some of this off there we go and some of that. Nah, okay. Okay, so we're going to leave those to dry. 
won't take a few minutes. Then we're going to add another little color, a couple colors to it. So let's add a little bit of orange. And a little bit of pink. And a little bit of yellow. up right over those little bitty lines take this one and just set it right on top and since we have some spaces open on these we'll go ahead and add one here and this one needs a little on the edge so we'll add one here so nothing's getting wasted nothing's getting you know, torn up or anything. And this is just using scraps. Um, let me see. Wrong way. Wrong way. See that shoe box right here? That's all my scraps and my uh, packaging and things like that. So. And it comes handy when you want to, when you're making a journal and you run out of things to do the tuck pockets with. See, that isn't much, but it covers some. And this one, we got a little bit of orange on it, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to throw that right there. See if we can't pick up a little bit more. Yep, right on top of it. Put this one right across here. We got a little bit more color there. This one right here <clears throat> got a little bit. This one right here. Oh, that's got the green. It's still wet. We'll go right across here. She got a little bit of orange on this one and a little bit of yellow. Let's check this one. There we go. And we'll see how this one looks. Well, it still needs some work. You can see that. But, okay, we're just going to leave that there since we're working on packaging. I'm not even going to wipe it all off until it becomes an absolute mess. So, let's try some ice blue. Champagne. I think those are the only two I'm going to do. And I don't want the colors to mix too much because I really want it to be variegated. And I'm going to put a paper clip in the middle of this. Let's see what else. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm just going to put a paper clip in the middle of this. Let's see if I can find a... Well, if we use one of these. Wait, that should work. That's big enough. not work because the paper clip keeps slipping. Let's see what it looks like. I well, can't really tell it's a paper clip, but that's a pretty cool design. <clears throat> and then we will pull up 
the paper clip. Lay it down. Um, let's put this one on here. Give it a little bit of more color. There we go. A little bit more blue. Just a little bit. Put a whole cards on here to cover up advertisements. When you run out of space, you can throw in die cuts or pieces of, you know, packaging. Like right here, I'm going to throw in that tea bag or that box of tea packaging. And I want a little bit of blue on this one, so I'm going to put that one right there. There we go. That's got some pretty colors. Let's see if we can add some blue right here on the edge. Oh, we did. Awesome sauce. Just little blue lines. Mm, well, that'll probably be enough for that one. Let me pull this up. See, we've got some color on there. I really hate that glare. I don't know what's doing it. That was my tea. My red, my rose red tea or red rose tea, whatever it's called. Yeah. Oh, and you can even see a piece of the paper clip on that. It's pretty kind of cool. Uh, some orange on this one, so let's throw some blue on it. There we go. It's all about the layers. See? We'll take this one where we tried to do the paper clip earlier. We just lay it right in the middle. Let's see if we can't pick up any of that paint. Well, we did. A little bit. There we go. Whoops. Okay, so let's try. I feel like I'm running out of colors. Let's try red. And we'll do a honeysuckle pink. Oop. Good thing that landed on the table and not the floor. Well, that would not have been a good thing. Wow, that pink really overdid that red. I thought it'd be the other way around. Okay, so we'll leave that there. You know what? <clears throat> Let's grab a stencil anyway. And we'll throw this back on there. And we'll get us some more white things. Just lay it across. Just lay it across. And press it down. So that was kind of cool see what this one looks like. Well, that one looks cool. Looks like chain link fence almost. And that one's got some more color on it. Uh, we've got some more extra space, so let's throw this right here in the middle. Some extra paint. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's pretty. Let's try this one. 
I can paint this way, so we'll do it sideways. See, that gave it another level. What about one of these blue, this blue one? Let's see. Let's try that one right here. I'm filming, yeah. Why, what's up? I can pause. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. You know, I realize I'm not the only one who is afraid of clowns. There are many, many people out there that are terrified to death of clowns. You know, you can press hold on her name and then it'll show up and you can click delete conversation. Uh, there we go. Okay, look at that. All about the layers. Let me throw this one on here, see if there's anything else we can pick up. Which I doubt, because I think the paint's pretty much dry. <sighs> but you never know. Oh, we got a little bit. Let me see. You see that? That looks pretty cool. And we will pull this up. And lay it... Oh, so we will just lay it right there for now. I'm not going to use the paint again. Alrighty. And I do need to wash my, my, uh, wipe off my stencil really quick. So let me just... Wipe this off real easy. Okay, that was that. Okay, now with that there like that, we'll let that dry. Be pretty pink. Pretty pink. Body this way. It's got too much orange on it. I'd like to see some red or pink. Let's see some red or pink on this one. We already did on these. So where are the ones we haven't yet? Um, let's see this one. This one. We'll try an edge of this one and the edge of this one. Now, whether these show up or not, I don't know because the paint might be too dry. <clears throat> but I just kind of wanted to give you another idea of what you can do with scraps that you don't have to throw away and that you can incorporate them into your um, your artwork. Now obviously if it's food related trash then you know hey you really don't want to use that but okay so that one came up a little bit that one came up a little bit well that's good so some of this is is still working. Now can you see all the layers in that? I don't know if you can or can't. I can't tell. 
me see if that stupid thing will focus. Maybe if I'm a little closer. No. Anyways, there are so many levels on that that looks so cool. Same with that one. And that one looks really cool. If you can see it without the glare. And that one it still has some white spots on it. Can you believe that? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of white on here see if I can get one piece of paper to take up everything else that's left on here grab one piece oh I guess it would help if I rolled it out <laughs> okay see what we get as a final from all of the stuff we just did. Okay, let's pull it up. Well, look at that. I don't know if you can tell. It looks kind of like an antique um, courtyard wall. So let's set that one to dry. And I'm going to wipe off my plate right or my plate right now. <sighs> and I'll set this aside for a minute to give you an idea. Well, let me see. I don't want to set it on that. It's still wet. Okay. Just to give you an idea, let's find one that's fairly dried. Put that back in there. That one's dried. That one's dry. Set. Let me do something with that in a minute. Okay. So this one. Okay. You need a tuck spot, right? What you do is you just fold the top or a tag say you need a tag you just fold the top in half see like that all right you take your scissors if I can find mine of course I don't have them handy here we are okay, and you cut off just a little bitty corner and look at that your sides are even find my hole punch so I know it's still here oh pardon my lack of coordination so I really do lack that that cover you can't come over I said, come over here and help me find these things. Oh, fooey, I know where it's at. It's in that silly tote that I told you I shoved everything. Because I was too lazy to put it away. Duh. Poke a hole in it. 
we go. Now you can do the back if you want, or you can use that for journaling or whatever. Okay, I've got some fibers here that I think will go really nicely with it. Alrighty. See, I always put the loop in from the back. It just makes it easier that way for me. And I pull it to the front. And I open. I doubled it, so there's, you know, there's two here. There we go. Well, now it looks like four, but. And then I'll pull all four of those loose ones through. Pull it tight. And those are still a little long for me. So I will take them and I will just kind of cut them odd angles. Alright, say that's not enough of what you want. I've got a roll of washi tape here. And usually I use a glue stick or something for washi tape, but since this is just a demonstration, put this around. Okay, you've got that looks like that. And let's see, I think I've got another washi tape in here. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, then there's this one. Let's find the beginning of it. There it is. And you can even go right down the center, or I don't know, right down the center, just right dead in the middle. Or you can line it up like it's supposed to be there. Flip that around back or cut it off. I'll cut this piece off because it's kind of big. I need to put this one, I don't know, right here. You still got all that different kinds of layers there. Let's see, I might have one more washi tape. Or actually, let's see which one would work better. That one or this one? I think that one would. Got a brad. Pick it up. There it goes. Pieces of life. We'll use that one. Put it right dead in the center. Okay, so you might need a little help. I don't have my all out here, so needed help with a little bitty hole there and you've got a very simple tag to tuck in and that was just from scrap paper I hope you can see that very well You can get more ornate or not. You can take your your alcohol marker or whatever you want. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. 
Here we go. That way it alleviates all that extra clutter. And you can just wiggle lines up and around it. Just something to make it your own. Dots. I'll put some up here. They're very faint. You can't hardly see them. But it all adds to what's there. You know, if you wanted, you could even plop a piece of puzzle right there that doesn't really match, but you get my drift. Oh, let's see. Oh, please focus. But you get my point. You know, just one piece of packaging and you've got You've got a world of possibilities. Now this, okay, for example, it's not completely covered, is it? No. But, say you take a ruler, if you can see what I'm doing. And just draw a line. Well, that didn't work. Maybe you need a better ruler than me, or a better marker than me. Because that is not working on this paint. Huh. Here's my brown one. Well, anyway. Yeah, that'd be this side. Maybe it'll just be enough to scratch the lines in the paint. And by doing this one little thing, I'll have to wait for the ink to catch up to that one now. But just by making those faint little lines right there, you've got yourself a journal card that anybody can write on. You know, you can poke a hole in the corner, both corners if you want, take a piece of anything you want. I'm only using this because it's here. Okay. Put one end through here. Oh, come on. There we go. One end through there. One end through there. Tie them in the back. Just hold them together. And you've got a little journal hangy tag. Let's pull it this way. See, it looks better that way. You see that? Just anything can happen. Anything goes. 
and you can decorate this one the same way. You, know, you can put washi tape up the sides or continue layering different colored paints on it. It's anything goes. And just in this short little time, I've gotten all of these, let's see, plus this one, this one, let's see, that tag, that one, that one, another one of these, make matching ones, that one, let's see, I think that's all I've done on this so far. Oh, and then these two are these that have dried that I just started on. But you see, all of that can be used in junk journaling, tags. Um, you can even take something like this, fold it in half. and you've got the cover of a journal. Or you can cut it down and have a smaller journal. That's a pretty cool looking cover for a small journal. You know, you paint the inside any color you want. Let's see. There we go. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that be a cool cover for a journal? Even just a small one? And the inside looks cool enough, you may not even have to do anything to it. Just put some signatures in. Obviously, these are too big. And there you go. Actually, they're not that much bigger than that. So, kapow. All with a piece of packaging that would have gotten thrown away. And on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. My dad is cooking. I'm hungry, and it smells really good. So uh, I'm going to go see what I can do to hurry him up so I can eat or help him. And I want everybody to have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like me, don't forget, click the thumbs up down at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please. If you want to find out or get notifications of when I post a video, click the bell right next to the subscribe button. Okay. Now, on my 300 giveaway, 300 subby giveaway, I do have a video that's already been produced that shows what you're going to get, plus a couple more things that I've been kind of tossing in there and adding to. So if you want to find out what you'll get, um, if you are a winner of my subby, remember, you have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to comment below, and not this video, but you have to comment below the subby video. It'll say 300 subby giveaway. You have to comment below that video. Um, and share. So every time you share it to different venues, you'll get an extra drawing or an extra entry. So keep that in mind and remember to find the humor in life because otherwise life would be totally boring. God bless and have a great, great weekend.